this is a video to help students get logged into Electude. And there's a couple of ways to do this. We're going to start the way that everybody is going to start, and that is if you have never logged in before. If you have never logged in before, we are going to get you logged in uh, using your email. So we need to go to your email first. If you go to the address bar up here and you go to um, mail.rsd7.net and enter. Now this is going to take me to my email and I saved my passwords and everything. And uh, so uh, yours is not likely going to just log right into an email like this, but this is where you're going to need your username, which is your student ID, and your password, which is your student ID and your birthday together. No spaces, just a bunch of numbers. Your student ID is six numbers. Your birthday is eight numbers. So it should be 14 numbers long. And that will get you logged in. Now you're going to look for an email from Electude LMS. And if you go to that email, you've got everything you need here. Um, this, we're going to go on the, the link here, but we need my, my username, which is my own username. Your username is going to be your student ID, and, and that's what's going to be there for you. And then this password, which they generated for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this password. I know my username, 123456. Yours is your student ID. And your password is whatever's here. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to click on the login link. And I'm going to go username 123456. And I'm going to paste the password in there. And then OK. Now you're going to get this same window. You want to agree? Yes. And now you need to change your password. Change it to something that you are going to remember. Uh, and if you have a hard time remembering passwords, write it down somewhere. Okay, so um, okay, one more. Ah, okay. So password has been changed. Perfect. And we are going to verify the information, and we're in. Okay, so now if you go into Content of Exploring, we have one folder. Now, this folder is going to change. It, even as of the time you watch this, my intent is to go in and get these set up with other folders. <clears throat> this was a test folder that just, just so that you could practice. But there's going to be Due This Week, Past Due, and Extra. And the extra is just going to be when I offer extra credit. But if we come in here, we have a module and we have a quiz. Always, always, always do the module first and then do the quiz because you're going to learn everything to do well on the quiz in the module. So if we come in here, start module, we're just going to go through. There's some information right here that the, the question right here might reference in this case what does the concept of movement mean well we can see movement right here sentence number one is a change in position and time change in position in time done okay so now we can go to the next question if you see a vehicle that is traveling at a constant speed is this classified as movement um is the vehicle moving in position in time? Absolutely. So yes, it changes its position in time. So then you can go to the next question and so on and so forth. You'll see you can't move ahead until you actually answer the previous question and then it turns uh, darker gray for you to select. And once you get to the end, you're done. Now, there are some modules that actually have additional pages. So when you get all the way to the end of this, it will start another similar topic up here and you'll click on another uh, button there and you'll have another row of questions to answer. Uh, just something to keep in mind, but there isn't that for this one. So I am going to close out of this. Now for the quiz, do the best you can. Okay. 
Um, I, I'm not going to get any more into that in this video. I want to keep it a little bit shorter. So always do the module first, then do the quiz. Uh, if you have, so I'm going to click on this little X up in the top corner. If you, if you have already been logged in, you're going to go to uh, this. Now, this is where the link on the student view will take you, which honestly, if you click right here, this is where we were, and you would just click on student. Um, but if you use the link that I've provided in Schoology, it will take you right to this page, the student login page. And I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six for my student ID. And my password and I am in okay now you'll see that it saved all of my progress it recorded my time spent uh, my progress on the module the last time I had uh, the first time I accessed and the last time how many sessions I've logged in to work on it if I'm working currently and I can see all of this okay so don't fool yourself the I've, I've been logged in and I've been doing it but it's not saving it, it doesn't work because I can see it all. I can see when you've logged in. I can see if you've never logged in. Okay. So not that anyone would do that, but the video is getting a little bit long. There are the two ways that you are ever going to need to get logged into Electude. The very first one I showed was if you have never logged into Electude before, you need to use your school Outlook email to find the email from Electude LMS use the information in that email to get logged in change your password accept the terms and conditions verify your information and you are in after that you never need to access that email again you only need to go to this web link that is in the important web links in schoology and use your username which is your student id and your password which is whatever you made it uh, to get logged in so that is the basics, how to get logged into Electude. If you still have questions, please let me know uh, because we got to do this. We're distance learning. This is how we're doing it this semester. I am sorry. This may not be the funnest way, but we, we got to do it. So please let me help you. Uh, that's what I got for you. We will see you later. Bye.